Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Etrian Odyssey 2 with me, Voltage Begammer. Today, let's do some quests, like this one that I did before, but I didn't really do anything with. I just declined it or something, so I'm not gonna read that again. Today, let's also do The Naturalists. We need more details about the monsters in the labyrinth. Log over 50 entries in the Monstrous Codex for 2,500 N. Ah, yeah, this one. You know the Monstrous Codex, right? Of course you do. They're looking for more details, so the God Corps knows what to expect in the labyrinth. Remember the, the lot brought back those stones for the Duke's daughter on her birthday? The Grand Duchy was chuffed about that. I've been in like Flint since then. You're getting better and better at these. It makes my wicked old heart swell. Anyways, this job is another one for a Grand Duchy. Just head to the Duke's palace with more details. And wear your best clothes. What do you mean, who cares? You need to learn a thing or two about etiquette. Get out of my barn, get to the Grand Duchess Palace. March! Alright, uh, what else can we do? Uh, playing Cupid. Alright. Ah, it's one of those. I accepted a posting, but this is kind of quest. Eh. Ah, well, no harm in telling you. There's a beautiful woman from a ways off. You wouldn't know her. She's a fickle one with a new type of man every day. Most men know to stay well clear, but not this unlucky fella. He's an old friend of hers, and they're on reasonably good terms. So he figures, what the hell, and decides to propose. He lavishes gifts on her, but she refuses every one. He's tried every method of proposal in the book by now, and more than a few that aren't. All we can think to do now is to try and get stuff in the labyrinth. There's a soul min mineral in there, called an ice sheet, or something alabaster. It's no easy rock to get a hold of. If a man gave it to a girl, she'd be swept off her feet. It's a silly sound of request, but, uh, if you find some, bring it back here, alright? Thanks. Alright, sounds easy enough. And just out of reach, I found a hole in the 13th floor. There's something good inside. Wanna check it out? Alright. I wouldn't do that one if I were you. Can't you just tell by looking at it, it's bad news? Someone found a treasure in the tiny crack in the 13th floor walls. Well, a man who posted that request is a thief. He tried to hide it, but I knew him at all. He didn't cause any trouble, so he left a proper reward. So I went ahead and posted it. I've heard only one body will fit through that crack at a time. But I don't see why you have to go alone in a labyrinth for this one. Mighty suspicious. Well. If you're willing, I won't hold you back. They don't blame me if anything happens. The wall in question is on the western area of the 13th floor. That thief will be waiting. Watch yourself, you hear? Alright. Well then, let's do some quests. First things first, the Duke's Palace. Let's see. Is there something I can do for you? Ah, oh, the quest. Mm -hmm. So you're the volunteer. First, let me accept my thanks for the jewels you found at the Duke's daughter. As your next job, you know, of course, that we explore the labyrinth as well. It's an important site for us, filled with natural resources. But our work would have to go more smoothly if we knew a kind of opposition to expect. We would like you to help in researching the habits and characteristics of the monster. Catalog over 50 types of monsters in the Codex, and show us your work. When the gallery is sufficiently full, you can inform the bar. You're not the only guild we have assisting, of course. I wish you luck, and Godspeed. Alright. Well, let's report our discoveries! I never reported my discoveries! As a result, I'm reporting them all now! All right, that's that. All right, let's leave. And there we go. We turned in 50 things. All right, let's report this. Welcome back, Elot. Let's have a gander at all these monsters you've researched. Ah, very nice. You picked up a lot of good info. The other guilds have nothing on this. Although I have a doubt for a second that you outshine the rabble. Here's a reward. I'm always counting on you. And 
we got the money! Which is good. Alright, uh, now we should save. And now that I have to go alone on the 13th floor. The best person to go alone with on the 13th floor would probably be... Uh, Dreamer. He has the ability to avoid random encounters. So if all I have to do is go over and see that, then yeah, I'll go over and do that. Let's use the pole, go up to the 13th floor. Oh, you also know that I refined my maps. Yeah, they look a lot better than they did before, don't they? Anyway, let's get over here. Easy when you don't have to deal with random battles. Just have a couple of FOEs to dodge. Alright, let's see. It should be around here somewhere. Do I have to be facing the wall? No. Oddly, I, I don't need to be facing the wall. As you walk through the forest, you see a guard before you. Hey, I've been waiting for you. He's on the quest, right? Yeah, the client couldn't make it. He sent me instead. See that crack by your feet? You look closely, and there does seem to be a crack that one person could squeeze through. It must be the one from the quest you accepted at the bar. This crack, and the one that the thief reported, must be one of the same. Take a look if you want, says the guard. I'll keep watch on this side. His words seem somewhat suspicious, as if he's pushing you into the crack. Should you trust the guard and reach into the crack? Sure! He reaches a shining object through the crack, but you can't re quite grasp it. You feel a qu faint tremor, then a definite shake. It feels as though you're jumping. No wonder why the guard has- you wonder why the guard hasn't warned you of the anything amiss, but he's nowhere to be found. The ground shaking is now incredibly intense. Something is wrong. You turn around. A monster is directly in front of you. You are so focused on the crack you never notice it. Worse, the tremors on your feet are coming from the creature's footsteps. You dodge its lunge spite, barely managing to un unsheath your weapon. Fight for your life! Well, Dreamer can't fight this on his own. He doesn't have any special powers or anything. Alright, uh, I got a bunch of medicas I can use to fight him. Yeah, that nectar's not gonna do me any good. And I don't have anything cool. Can't run away? You found yourself unable to run from this battle. Ah, great. Yeah, I guess I can try this. Game over, no! Oh well. Now I know what to expect. Nah, I didn't really do anything with the map data. So, I get ambushed by a claw bug, eh? Alright then. Claw bugs are weak to vault. I'll just buy five of that just in case. And what's the highest grade of Medica I can buy? Just Medica. Oh, Medica 2. Can I buy Medica 3? Uh, I have a couple Medica too. I'll just use that if I happen to do that again. And since it'll be the same dialogue as last time, I'm not gonna bother reading it. Let's just get Dreamer and go in there. It should work. Use the pole. Vault back up. Make sure to activate his stalker. Got stuck. I don't know what on. Probably some snow. And here we go. Quobog. This time you die. Let's see how many bolts. 
Lots of Volchars. Wow, I'm getting owned. Already. I was kind of hoping to dodge a couple more times. Alright, this is great. Hello. Oh, if I don't dodge, oh well. Whoa. This is getting close. Ah, oh, well. Thanks all, let's play Etrian Aussie 2 with me, Voltage Big Hammer. I'm gonna try that again until I win! Later, adventurers!